Breaking news this hour, some Ukrainian armoured vehicle crews have switched sides, joining the anti-government protesters in the east. Uh, these are the latest pictures for you from the scene. Uh, an armoured personnel carrier driving on the streets of Kramatorsk. And it's exactly how you see it, a Russian flag, and it's become the symbol of anti-Kiev unrest in the east, flying from its roof. Locals are refusing to recognise the new government and they are demanding greater autonomy. Uh, the news, though, has has triggered confusion in the social media, which has become flooded with reports suggesting that the armoured units are somehow linked to Russian forces. OK, well, those are the very latest pictures. We're going to discuss this now in a little bit more depth with Ivor Crotty, who is the head of RT's social media department. Um, I, I mean, there's no denying social media is quick, but I think mm -hmm. with that speed, sometimes it yeah. brings confusion. And it sounds like there's been a little bit of that. How has this sure. whole story developed on the social media? Well, specifically in relation to the APCs or tanks that, uh, that drove into Kramatorsk this morning. Uh, the, uh, on, on, there's, a, there's a lot of online footage about it, and the story began uh, with reports that they had arrived. And then uh, a tweet from uh, this lady, Rania Saloum, who's uh, with Der Spiegel, who photographed uh, the tanks and... Uh, basically gave photographic evidence that these uh, tanks and APCs had picked up Russian flags and were now departing uh, Kramatorsk mm -hmm. for Slavyansk, for nearby Slavyansk. Uh, now, that set a scene where a couple of us who've been in this game slightly longer than others, perhaps, were started to worry about what might be reported while these tanks were en route. And this is exactly what we saw. Al Arabia, for example, broke news that uh, armoured vehicles with Russian flags were seen uh, in Ukraine. And if we can roll it on again, you can see that, uh, in fact, Sky News and Reuters uh, well, Sky News picked up a, a, a Reuters uh, a report of witnesses seeing uh, vehicles with Russian flags. And this is just the kind of stuff that other media organisations could jump on very, very quickly and start to spread the kind of misinformation that we're seeing coming around, uh, coming out of uh, uh, eastern Ukraine at the moment. The, uh, the reporters who have been on the ground there describe it as a fog of war thicker than they've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, social media is great. It is fast, but sometimes you just need to uh, actually get all the facts together before you put the story out, which is hopefully what we're doing here on RT. Thanks so much, Ivor, for Cheers, joining man. us.